In addition to providing electric power, TVA manages the richly diverse natural resources of our seven-state region. This includes 293,000 acres of public lands and 11,000 miles of shoreline. The steward of these public lands and shorelines is TVA's Natural Resources Group. So in 2020, TVA published the Natural Resource Plan. The Natural Resource Plan outlines for the public so they can have an understanding of what areas we're supposed to be doing and what we're responsible for. That broke out our work into 10 focus areas. And these areas can be put into three groups. The first group would be the program oriented, and then we have our resource oriented, and the largest group is the user oriented group. That includes recreation, ecotourism, and really that place that people can connect with the resources. When it comes to protecting the land, TVA first determines how the lands should be used, with public input, of course. We want to give people places to recreate while also protecting the rich diversity of biological and cultural resources in the region. You've probably seen docks sprinkled along the shoreline. These docks belong to people who own land nearby. When an adjacent landowner on a TVA shoreline submits a request to build a personal structure, TVA staff reviews the plan and the parcel of land to determine if the request can be approved and what the best location and size are to ensure environmentally responsible development. TVA permission must also be granted for other infrastructure along the shoreline, such as campgrounds, marinas, municipalities, and businesses that need to use a section of the shoreline or water for their operations. TVA manages public lands for present and future generations and works to balance often competing demands for our land and water uses. We also strive to keep the land and waters free from trash and other abuses such as vandalism. Some of the lands and waters provide habitat for threatened, endangered, and sensitive species. We work hard to protect and maintain these species and their habitat. TVA also works to control nuisance and invasive plants or animals that pose a threat to native species and can cause economic, environmental, or human harm. An example is TVA's program to manage invasive aquatic vegetation around public ramps to allow access to the reservoirs. If you're out on the water, you may see staff and contractors using mechanical harvesters or applying EPA-approved herbicides. A lot of people may not know this, but the Tennessee River is one of the most biologically diverse river systems in North America. There's hundreds of freshwater fish, mussels, snails, crayfish. It's like an underwater rainforest, basically. So we live in a very special place. As with most of our natural resource work, taking care of these lands and habitats is a partnership effort. We collaborate with other agencies to create management plans, document species populations, and implement habitat improvement projects, propagate and reintroduce at-risk species, and conduct public outreach efforts. It takes all of us working together to make a difference. TVA reservoirs and the land surrounding them offer an abundance of recreation opportunities, making the region one of the best places in the nation to live and experience nature-based outdoor adventure. There's truly something for everyone. Recreation is not just about fun. It also supports local communities by creating jobs and inviting tourism. With these communities, when you start bringing folks in from out of the valley, bringing folks in from other communities that, uh, that recognize and enjoy the vast ecotourism opportunities of the Tennessee Valley, and then you tie an economic impact you know, to that as well. So not only are we getting you know, um, benefits personally, but we're also getting benefits in the valley through, uh, through ecotourism. 2016, the University of uh, Tennessee Knoxville did a study uh, on all the, the water-based recreation. When that number came back, it was staggering, just under, um, just under $12 billion. And what that equates to, if you do the math, is about a about million dollars a shoreline mile. Through that lens, I think it's pretty easy to appreciate the economic value, not only the personal and the, and the recreational benefits um, of value, but also the, the economic value that ecotourism brings to people of the valley. Our mission also includes informing the public and other stakeholders about the natural and cultural resources in the region. TVA provides environmental education, volunteer opportunities, and community support to engage people in outdoor activities and caring for our environment.
Our education and outreach efforts are probably one of the most important things that we do. From sharing TVA's mission to uh, uh, showing people what we do to protect our natural resources and provide recreational opportunities throughout the valley. You may see us setting up at a booth um, at, a, at a community event, you know, talking about TVA and answering questions about access to public land and 26A permits. And we're also talking about natural resources along the way and how important it is for us to protect those natural resources and how people can get involved because it takes all of us to protect their natural resources.